Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3, the last one standing challenge. I'm Landros and now everybody's got their free will taken off because I have them doing something to set up for the next challenge. And you're going to see in just a moment once we get over there, um, you'll kind of have an idea of what we're going to be doing with the challenge. As you can see, we're losing $5 for each one. Um, once we're done with this, Gale is going to head off and take care of his rewards. I do have to scramble Solomon's... Um, Solomon's traits and you can see we have the hen house or the chicken house here from the, the Sims 3 store now each one of them has three of them that they've been assigned and they have to go over here and they have to actually go ahead and feed this hen, the hen house now where is she going because she's got to go to the bathroom no I said no free will all right you have to wait so everybody's got to take care of theirs let's see he's over here by his last one that's fine okay I'm gonna just give you a minute I know everybody should be okay now, Solomon, while I got you right here, let me go ahead and just drop in real quick. I need to go ahead and, let's see, stop for a moment. Stop, stop, stop. I know you got your free will. Well, you have it off. I don't know why it's letting you do that. Testing cheats. I should remember to turn this on when I start this LP because I always have to use it. All right, let's go with you real quick. Um, let's take a look at your traits. This is what you were. You were adventurous, loves the outdoors, mean-spirited, night owl, and an angler. Uh, no more after the truth and consequences room you are now a daredevil charismatic party animal natural cook and good okay so that is who you are um you go ahead and do whatever you need to do Gail I'm really just waiting on you and Gail I'm gonna send you out actually out uh oh I'm frozen why am I frozen <laughs> all right I don't know all right I'm gonna send him out over to go ahead and take care of his needs or his reward which is the day spa and I need to make sure I have plenty of money, which I should. You're going to go ahead and go with... No, you want the full day one. You want the package. You want the big deal, which is 7500 And that's going to help you out, hopefully, for tomorrow. Now, the rest of them, they're kind of on their own. But I need to go back in and change their free will so that they have exactly what they need done. And they can do it. Oh, I already had I had the pets off. <laughs> all right, well, that's fine. Uh, they all did what they had to do. Okay, so no wonder they were actually doing what they had to do. All right, so... Gail, you head on out. Let me go ahead and just check on these guys. I'm not going to control you at all. I don't have anything to do for you. Um, I will watch you because sometimes they'll do that interaction where they want to take a friend with a photo and it'll lock them up. So I will watch them for that for that aspect. Um, I think it only happens, though, if you're a jock. So I'm hoping that they don't have it. But now looking at their house, their beds, um, we got to change out a bed. And this takes way too long because this lot has got so much on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take out, um, take out this bed, and let's see, it belongs to Gail this time. So Gail, you're actually in this room. We're going to swap you out. Now you are going to get the nice bed. I've got to make sure I set the ownership of this bed as well because it won't work otherwise. Um, but you know, OCD tells me make sure it's the same color. Um, I don't really care about the wood. I just really want the bed spread. Come on and change. <laughs> You'll change eventually. It takes forever. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. Okay. Now, actually, what I really ought to do is just go ahead and take this. Should be the yellow. And pop it onto this one. Okay. Move you guys back, and I forgot who is actually in this room. I gotta go back and double check. I'm frozen. I'm freezing. I can't. Remember. I don't know why it's doing this to me. For some reason, does not want to work today. All right. I'm sorry about the music. It's annoying me right now. I can only imagine if this thing would stop freezing up on me, it'd be okay. Give me just a second. Well, maybe not. I don't know where the bed went. Okay, there it is. Okay, I don't know if, care if it's back against the wall or not. It's in there, so that's fine. All right, let's drop back into live mode, and let's see. That's Melody, and I did want to actually take a few things out. Who is this? Okay. All right, so that would be your bed, I'm assuming. I don't know. I just know that this is Gale's so over here. So, we are going to now make that your bed. It is Gail's. 
Yes. And Ruana, you get your bed over here. This now becomes yours. Okay. And you guys should be able to take care of your own needs. You're fine. Um, I need to go double check these hen houses or chicken houses real quick. Make sure that everybody did it. Um, I think they did. They all fed them. If they didn't, we'll find out in the morning and then that'll mess somebody up. But nobody can do anything until actually they are ready to harvest, which will be early in the morning. And I'm hoping that they all did what they had to do. If not, that's all right. Okay, I'm just going to keep an eye on them because, of course, Solomon, I don't know what you're doing over here, but... Uh-oh. Oh, you're going to consult. Okay. Well, I know you guys are all upset because it's Shannon. But... Torque. All right, so they're actually getting together. I really would like for them to go ahead and go to bed, but I can't control them. And I'm not changing any needs or anything at all, so this is basically it. Okay, well, they don't like each other now. Every <laughs> job. Uh, Player. Kind of figures. Mm -hmm. All right, and you're over here. You're drinking. And, of course, you see these are the, the two tombstones that we have. The two that have already fallen. And then our original one, our first one, is actually still in the town doing whoever knows what. All right, Melody, you're smart. You went to bed. And that's good because tomorrow you're going to need the rest. I'm hoping the rest of them will start to follow suit. And looks like they should be. Yeah, he's going to bed. Is she going to go to bed? No, she's going to eat. And Emma, you can go play games. <laughs> All right, well, you're really not that tired, but you should actually get some rest because tomorrow's going to come and you guys got a lot to do. A lot to get done. All right, well, let me go over and check on Gail. He's actually going to be here for a while. Now, the nice thing with him is that all, pretty much all of his needs will get taken care of over here at this salon, so he won't really have to worry about it. We just have to wait until first thing in the morning when it's time to actually come over and take care of our little chickens, which are going to hatch pretty soon. So, now before we get started tomorrow, the first thing I'm going to have to do is have them take the test to see if they are worthy to continue the competition. They should be, but these two need to get to bed, and um, hopefully they will. Bone Hilda, I don't know where she is. Um, I am going to have, since, let's see, Ruana. You're actually already up. I'm going to go ahead and stop you for a minute. I want you to go ahead and dismiss her. And then I want you to reawaken her. I know you're tired. And that food was bad, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. All right, go ahead and dismiss her. And then I'm going to have you awaken her so that she'll show back up on the lot. This happens to her every once in a while. You just kind of have to do this to her. And you reset her. Oh, wait, she's not there. Okay, she's returning to her coffin. Where was she? <laughs> I have no idea where that woman, where that thing goes off to. So, is she may be gone permanently? I don't know. But we'll wait and I'll just keep an eye on her. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out of here while they're actually um, getting through the night. And when Gail gets back, we'll get started in the morning. Uh, once the actual chickens start to hatch, we can start with the next competition. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, well, Bonehilda did show back up and I actually, we reawakened her. And now, of course, um, everybody finally decided to go to bed, which is fine. But the weather's turning bad on us, so it's okay. Hopefully in the morning it'll be okay. If not, we'll have to change it. Looking at my cow plants, they're all still alive. Um, this one obviously isn't hungry yet. These two are starving, so hopefully, hopefully they won't die on me. But we'll never know. Anyway, I'm glad to see that she's back and she's actually doing what she's supposed to be doing. That was the whole point of having her. I don't know where she came, uh, went off to, but all of a sudden she just ran back onto the lot, and so she was okay at that point. Still, kind of crazy. All right, I'll be back in just a little bit. The um, chickens have not hatched yet, so it's still been pretty early. We're just going to wait and see, and then um, I'll show you what the competition is and what they're going to have to do. I'll be back in a second. Well, Gail made it back from the salon, and he's actually sleeping. He went right to his bed. He's fine. Um, but everybody else is looking decent except for Solomon and of course Melody's not looking so hot right now. I think a lot of it has to do with the morning for two days. But it's only 3 o'clock in the morning so we got plenty of time. Um, yeah, she's hungry so hopefully they'll actually get something good. I think Bone Hilda took care of everything in the kitchen. Um, she was running around taking care of all the bathroom fixtures and whatnot so I think she's done what she was supposed to do. Um, because it was looking pretty rough over here for a little while. So that's good. At least the house is looking better. Things are looking like they should. or back to normal. And um, it'll be nice to get them going and get them up. Now, Gail in the morning does not have to do the jelly bean test because he has immunity. But the rest of them are going to have to take the one jelly bean test just to make sure they can compete in today's challenge. And today's challenge, of course, is the reward challenge. 
the immunity challenge will not show up until um, after this one. This one is actually very simple, but it's all just going to be a, it's very random. So this doesn't require any skill, nothing whatsoever. It just requires just the luck of the draw. So um, it'll be kind of fun to see how it turns out. All right, well, she's fine. I just want to make sure she doesn't burn the house down. But you never know if she will or she won't. I don't know who's got skills and who doesn't. All right, so I guess it's going to take us a while. I'm going to wait until they're up. So if anything major happens, I'll jump back in and show you. But otherwise, we're just going to keep an eye on uh, the rest of the night, let them get through it, and hopefully they're getting the best rest they can on these little beds. So be back in just a second. Okay, time has just about come for everybody. So I was waiting for it to get a little bit lighter, but for some reason it's just very dark today in, Sun in Dragon Valley just because you know we've got really bad weather. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by going ahead and putting everything, um, putting everybody's free will back off so they'll actually follow my directions. And then, of course, Gail is exempt from this. So Solomon, you're going to come over here. You're going to actually eat your jelly bean. Emma, you're going to eat yours. And let's see, Ruana. Um, and you can kind of see their needs as I click through them. So most of them are okay. I've been kind of keeping an eye, and I haven't changed anybody. I haven't done anything for them, but just keeping an eye on each one of them. All right, I'm going to have them go ahead and come on over here just to watch. And then this way we'll at least get this started and we'll see if we can get the competition going for the day. I'm hoping that the weather will actually change. If it doesn't, it's no big deal. This one doesn't really matter if it's raining or not. But I was just kind of hoping that the, um, the daylight would actually start to show up a little bit better. All right, who is this? Is that Emma? All right, Emma, you're okay. All right, you are going to be sick. All right, Melody, how are you going to do? Melody, you're okay. All right, Ruana, I told you to come on over, but you're actually washing your dishes. Okay. And Solomon, what's wrong with you? Are you coming? And, uh, yeah, there's only four of you that have to do it. You girls need to go over here. Get out of the way. Let's see. Go ahead and get out of the way. Solomon, here we go. All right, you're fine. All right, so we got one more left. And Ruana, you're on your way, I think, hopefully. This has not been good for you the first time you did it. So hopefully you'll be okay. I don't, you don't have that protection anymore. So hopefully you'll be fine. I'm hoping, let's see. I hate to have him die on this one. All right, so everybody's good. Okay. Let's go ahead and stop for a minute, and I'm going to get back over here, and I'm going to show you. Again, I hated that it. it's so dark. I wish there was something I could do about the weather. Actually, there probably is. I could probably go in and change it, but I think you can kind of see. Um, let's just go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, if I say quick, but going into build by on this lot is insane because there's so much on it. Um, let's go with lighting, and let's go with outdoor lighting. And I want... I want like this industrial street lighting. Let's see. Alright, let's just go with these right here. I'm hoping it's gonna make it a little bit better because it's really dark for me. So if I know it's dark for me, it's probably dark for you guys. Yeah, I know we're blowing all of our money, but I'm gonna just cheat and give them some more money in a minute. That was not lined up. Alright. That should be fine. I could have gotten the one from Dra from Dragon Valley. Didn't even think about it. All right. Anyway, that at least gives you some uh, gives you some light, and we'll actually be able to see it. I hope. Okay, Solomon, you're gonna come over here. Gail, you're gonna come right here. We just go in order. And Emma's here. Ruana, let's come on over. And Melody, come on over. Okay. Now this challenge is the strength of luck. And so, if for those of you who do not have the chicken house. What happens is you feed the chickens and then when you harvest the eggs, you can harvest different quality of eggs, but you also have the rare opportunity to get one of the rare exotic eggs, which is worth 1500 So what we're going to be doing is we're going to have each one of them harvest their first chicken house. And if any of them actually get the rare exotic egg, they could be the winner. However, if more than one get the rare exotic egg, then those two people or however many people have to compete again will go to the next round and they'll check from this house and uh, if again if we have a tie of more than one person getting a rare exotic egg we'll come over for a third round over here on these houses now in the very beginning if nobody gets the rare and exotic eggs then of course everybody advances to the next round of houses so we're just looking for whoever can get the rare and exotic egg and whoever could be the um, the only one during that competition to get one alright so he's gonna go ahead 
and I'm going to have each one of them just go ahead and harvest the eggs and we'll see which one gets it. It will go directly to their inventory so it won't matter if I miss it I'll be able to find out exactly who has what. Okay let's see if anybody's going to get one. Melody come on, you're taking your time. Alright Gail did not get one, Solomon did not get one, Ruana did not get one, Melody you did not, and Emma did not. Okay. So no rare and exotic eggs for this round. Okay, you guys move on back to the next one. Harvest these eggs. Actually, before you do that, feed the eggs that you got, and then harvest the next round. Okay, so feed your eggs, and harvest. You can do the exact same thing, and we'll see if anybody gets lucky. It only takes one. Um, let's see. All right, let's try again. I'm losing money. I gotta hang on a minute. We gotta have money. Okay, there we go. At least we're okay for now. Okay, Melody, you didn't get one. Rana did not. Oh, Emma got one. And Gail got one. All right, so Emma and Gail are the ones to compete. So the rest of them are actually going to just stand there. Emma and Gail. All right, Gail, you're going to go ahead and harvest from here. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and feed the one that you got because we may have to come back and use it again. So feed it, and then I want you to go ahead and I want you to harvest this one. And then Emma, you're going to go ahead and do this one, feed it, and then harvest from here. So Emma and Gail, the competition is between the two of you. Somebody got one. All right, it looks like Emma got it. Let me just double check, and she should have two in her inventory. So, Emma, if you've got two in your inventory, you will have one. Yes, you did. So, Emma got this challenge. She's actually now the winner. Now, I made a mistake in the very beginning. I sent Gail out for the um, reward, and I shouldn't have. I didn't realize that I had already done that for him. So that was my mistake, but it didn't actually give him an advantage, so he's okay. So Emma, you've actually gotten it, so now you're the one who's going to actually take over and get the new bed. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to go ahead, instead of having to change it out, I'm just going to reset the ownership. And this is now going to be Emma's bed. Emma and Gail, you're going to take Emma's old bed, which is, I believe, right here? No. I forget which one you guys are sleeping in. I think this is it. All right, so set this one as your own, because that's that should be you now. Yep, because that's not you. That's Shannon. All right, so everybody else is fine. All right, so Emma, you're going to head on out, and you are going to go on and get your reward, which is the day spa, and now you have the new bed. And let's get you over here, get you to the full package. You are good to go. Um, I am going to turn free wheel back on for everybody else. Let's see. Let's go ahead and turn them all back on. And the rest of them are on their own to do whatever they want to do. So Emma's out. When she gets back from the day spa and we have enough time, if it's still time today, which it probably will not be, I don't know, then we'll go ahead and we will actually run through and get the next competition done. Now these eggs, I'm just going to go ahead and sell them off. We'll just take the money from them. Oh, she's throwing up? Yeah, I'm sorry, because that food you guys made was horrible. These eggs are worth 1500 so it's definitely worth actually having a chicken coop just for that. Because um, the chicken coop costs you 1500 but if you get a couple eggs, you are more than paying for it. Alright, just one egg, you pay for that, that entire thing. Alright, so there's 3000 right there. Let's see. Now, if you have this and you're trying to do the same thing on the competition, if you would have gotten to the point you would have had them all go through all three of the different um, hen chicken houses, what I would have done at that point is I would have just taken the value of the eggs that were in their inventory. So I would have actually just ranked them by value, and then that would have been it. But you know, even if we had done that this time, Emma still was going to win because she had 3,000 in rare and exotic eggs. So there was no way that she was going to lose it. So, but that would be one way if you're doing it and you didn't get any rare exotic eggs, you could actually still do this challenge. All right, so um, you guys should put that, I'm gonna put that up for you just because it was bad. 
this is what Melody made earlier this morning. It was horrible, and she ate it, so I'm surprised. Okay, the rest of you guys are fine. Emma, are you over here getting your, she's getting her stuff? All right, well, she's got plenty of uh, energy and everything, so Solomon, you guys are fine. You probably would do okay if I just did the next challenge, but I need to get it set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out of here. I'm going to set up for the next challenge, and then I'm going to let them go ahead and have their evening. Hopefully they'll do better. It looks like he's throwing up too. Um, they always throw up if they get a rotten egg. So you just kind of have to expect it. I don't know where Ruana is. Um, oh, she's over here. Good, because I needed this room. All right, so you guys go ahead and do what you need to do, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut out of here. I'll be back in a minute when we're actually ready to get going, and um, I may give them a little bit of time to kind of wear out their energy, go to bed, and then get up for the next day. Be back in just a second. Okay, well, Gail and Melody are going after it, and Gail just knocked her out. So I don't know what the deal is going on, but they are not happy with each other at all. Um, be interested to see these relationships, and oh yeah, <laughs> Gail and Melody hate each other. Melody, um, she doesn't really like too many people in the house. She has no, well, she kind of likes Ruana. Ruana, you kind of like a little bit of, well, you're not really too fond of too many of them. Emma, middle of the road. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't like him either, so this could go bad. So, they've not been the best of friends. Let's see. Solomon? Yeah, he's okay. Alright, well. Uh, John, I don't know why John's actually showing up over here. I don't know why. Now, where's this music? Oh, it's right here. Let's go ahead and turn that off, because we don't really need it. Now, Gail, uh, Emma is still over there doing her thing, and I'm waiting on her to get back. Um, we could get started on the challenge when she's not here. It won't really matter. But I'm going to wait until she gets here. The challenge we're going to be doing is very simple. It's um, it's only going to be just something that's time related. So as long as they actually have a decent amount of energy, it's okay. I'm speeding them up to see if I can get her out of here pretty quick. But for some reason, it's just taking forever. And um, it's fine. So we'll wait and see when she comes back, and then we'll get started. So if anything else happens, I'll come back and show you what's going on. Okay, as soon as actually Emma gets on the lot, we're going to go ahead and start. Well, here she is. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our next competition, which this, of course, would be for the immunity. Now, the competition is actually going to be held over here, and you can see I've got the slot machines out for them. Because remember, this competition is the strength of luck. So I've had it locked off for them. So now we're going to unlock the gates, but I need to go ahead and turn off their free will. Actually, no, I'm not going to turn off free will. They're going to be on free will today. So what they're going to do is they're going to come over here. Let me turn off free will for right now, and then just that way I can get them over here, and they don't get started until I tell them to. Uh, I have no idea what their needs are like. I don't know if they've actually done okay or not. But anyway, we're going to have Hol uh, Solomon go ahead and stand right here. Gail, you're going to stand in front of this one. And Emma, you're going to stand here. Now, this is going to be a timed activity. So they're going to actually be competing against um, just randomness. So they're going to actually be trying to see who can actually get the most money within the amount of time. Who can win the most money within the amount of time that has been given. So... They don't have a whole lot of time, so they better come on over because, oh wait, is she sleeping? No, you can't be sleeping. I gotta get everybody up. So nobody can follow um, or do their own thing. All right, you're here. You two are actually ready. Um, let's see, I got three of them at least. Emma, you shouldn't have any problems. You should be fine. Okay. And then that means I'm waiting on, I believe it was Melody. Melody, you're coming? Can't do anything till you get here. So got to be fair. Got to have everybody start at the same time. All right, don't anybody move. Well, of course, they won't move without free will, so that's good. Yeah, it's taking her forever. <laughs> She's just as slow as can be today. She's taking her time. It's like, I'll get there when I get there. All right. Now, if they walk away, I will redirect them and have them go back and start again. But um, if they walk away, that's just because they have their free will back on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it back on for them. And hopefully they won't. Hopefully they'll continue doing exactly what I'm going to have them do. Okay. So each one of you are going to actually be betting the same thing. You're going to do high stakes. So each one will go. And the time is 7 o'clock. It's just a little after 7. And we're going to play. They're going to play up until midnight. So they have until midnight to see who's actually going to get the most money out of their slot machine ordeal here. <laughs> so you guys go ahead and get started. Stop mourning, Ruana. Get there and get busy. Uh, Emma, I don't think you're actually doing anything yet. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah. Ruana, did I tell you to do it? Yeah, I did. You're just not picking her. All right, so you can kind of keep an eye on it. You see? Oh, 
Gail, look at you. Already getting a $5,000 bonus. So, Gail's the one to beat. New boy. That's anybody's game because you can get more than one um, jackpot like that. It's all random. So you never know who's going to get one. All right. Gail and Emma are really showing their uh, competitive spirit this week. So, Emma, you're actually competing up there with him now. Again, the other ones actually count for him as well. <laughs> They have until midnight or until it times them out. So if they go through all ten, which they might, then I may just cut it at that point and let them. That that would be it. In fact, that's probably what I should do instead. So they'll just go until it automatically cancels them out. I think it's ten pulls, and that should be it. Right. Anybody else gonna get a jackpot? Yes, there is. All right, Ruana got one. All right. Solomon and Melody, you guys have got to keep up. Okay, Melody got it. Solomon, I don't know. <laughs> it's anybody's game at this point. If any of these four get another jackpot, then it might spell the end for somebody else, like Solomon, who's not gotten anything yet. Nothing yet. Right. Oh, Melody, look at you go. <laughs> All right. Melody is now the one to beat. Okay, at least they're getting some gambling skills up. Yeah, Melody will definitely be the one to actually watch out for on this one. <laughs> Poor Solomon over there, not getting a thing. It's got to be frustrating. He just came out of the big um, cow plant, so he doesn't need this again. But it is all random luck. <laughs> oh, I see someone getting hungry, and I don't like to see that. But. <laughs> All right, keep going. Yeah, like I said, I think it's 10 pulls and then they're done. You'll know when they're done. It'll give you a warning or a little message tells you how much they made. Uh, all right, well, so far, I don't know. I mean, I think Melody's got this one wrapped up at this point. Solomon, I think you are definitely looking to go back to that room. But I could be wrong. <laughs> you can prove me wrong real quick. Nope. <laughs> Melody, you are not you're not going to give this one up at all, are you? <laughs> She's like, nope, I am not giving up. All right, well, she will be the one to beat. Yeah, I was kind of thinking Gail was going to be the front runner on this one because he started off with it, but not so much. Not so much. <laughs> Can't even give poor Solomon a, a, a chance here. Alright, it's got about an hour, and then I have to actually stop it. Unless they stop on their own, which I don't know if they will or not. They might. I kind of thought that they would, but I forgot how long it takes. Alright, anybody else? Uh, looking at the two lowest, those are the ones that are going in that room, so... Melody does not want to go. <laughs> she definitely doesn't. Alright, time is almost up. 
<laughs> oh, okay, come on now. <laughs> They're all getting hungry. They're all getting tired. That's okay, it's almost over. You're almost done. Oh, I thought Gail had it. I really did. Well, at least he got something. Not much, but he got something. I've been feeling bad for the poor guy. All right, ten more minutes. Okay, Gail, you're up. You got to get another one. All right. Well, I don't think it's gonna be enough because you got four minutes. All right, time is up. All right, let's go ahead and stop them. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and stop everybody. Um, you have made, let's see, you've got 2018. That's what you've got available. Um, but I don't know if that's exactly what you made. So let's go ahead and just cancel you out, and we'll see what you got. And then, Gail, you had 10,406. Okay, let's cancel you out. Emma, okay, Emma, right now you and uh, Solomon are in the uh, the lowest in the bottom. Ruana, yeah, you actually made it in the middle, so you're okay. And Melody, oh, Melody, you're fine. Okay, so it looks like Melody's going to be our winner, I believe. Okay, let's see if we get all of this. Oh, and Solomon just got one, so we got to count that in as well. So it may have changed things on us, I don't know. Okay, let's take a look. All right, so Melody, you made us 15,772. That means you're safe. Okay, looks like Gail made 10,376. Okay, Emma, you only made 5,952. Ruana, you made 7,216. If Solomon made more than 5,952, then we are actually going to be seeing these two girls go up for elimination. Let's go ahead and see what Solomon comes up with because he hasn't finished up yet. Oh! Yep, Solomon, you just barely squeaked by. You made it by, wait a minute, did you? Did you really? 7,018, maybe not because you may not have been enough. No, you didn't. So, Ruana, you barely squeaked by. So, it's going to be Solomon and Emma going up for elimination tonight. So, Ruana, you got lucky. Um, just barely lucky by how much? <laughs> a little over $200. Okay. So it is now 12.20. We're going to go ahead and pull um, Emma. We're going to teleport you in. I know, I know. Actually, you know what? Stop real quick. I'm going to actually have you guys do this. I'm going to have you walk over here, and you're going to walk over here because you guys, if you're sleeping, it's unfair. And let's at least get you up both in the same area, and then that way we'll know for sure. All right, Emma, you're there. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Walk here. Okay, good. They're basically in the same area. All right, it's 12:30. Now you know we're not gonna have to wait till 12:30. All right, you're in, and you're in. Okay. And at this point, we have a choice. Uh, we have two people up, and Solomon, you went right for it. Emma, keep your eyes focused on the door. No, of course not. <laughs> you could have actually lasted if you would have just ignored it. Uh, who knows? Will it be Solomon? Will it be Emma? No telling. Will it be both? Or could they possibly survive till 1230? Highly doubt it, but it's possible. Right. We'll just wait and see. I don't know. I have... That was pretty good, though. I was surprised that he actually got that last one at the very end. He almost would have had it if his, um, if his other numbers would have been good. He would have actually done just fine. But, no, that just didn't happen. All right, Solomon, you're fine. Okay, Emma, are you okay? I don't know. The game's frozen, so that scares me. All right. Maybe, maybe not. Nope. Emma's gone. All right, Solomon, you're fine. Oh! All right, so Emma, looks like you're going to be the one out of here. Let me go ahead and tell him to get out of here because I don't want him to mess up and do the double animation. The whole thing is they're supposed to go at the same time. All right, so Emma is out. Uh, that is sad. That is really sad. Solomon, you did it twice in a row, and because of that, I do have to make sure I scramble your traits again. Let's go ahead and scramble you up real quick. 
Eccentric, grumpy, schmoozer, star, star quality, and loser. All right, well, that might actually work to your advantage. Um, oh, poor Emma. I hate it. I hate that uh, we're losing the butt. We're now down to at least two boys and two girls. So it is a little bit more fair than what it was before. Um, and it's anybody's game at this point. So the rest of them are on their own. Emma, thank you for playing. And for those, for the person who created Emma, thank you for submitting her. Um, unfortunately, she will not be the last one standing in this competition, but she made a really good showing. And um, Solomon, this is twice in a row for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get out of here, and you don't need to be coming back. All right, now I believe free will is back on for everybody, so they they should be doing what they need to be doing. And I need to go back and change. Um, let's see, we got the beds set up the way they should be, I believe. That was for the reward, but for the actual um, for this, I need to go back and change. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here, and when we come back, we'll be seeing the next competition, and we're down to four. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.